All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. You're not going to believe it, but we're playing Trophy Fishing 2 again. This is a, a little bit hard to explain. Somehow this game has kind of like wormed its way in my mind. I find myself thinking about it and I can't ex exactly explain why. Uh, one thing that helped was I went and looked into the discussion section of on Steam. And I started to realize that there's a little more going on to the game, which, you know, you kind of knew that yesterday when you if you watch the video. But for me playing it yesterday, I kind of realized like, OK, there's a little more going on than I realize here. I just don't understand what all this means. So uh, my hope here is that every time I sit down to record one of these videos, I will try to have a, a focus and kind of explain one thing that I've learned. So tonight's focus is going to be upgrading the rod. Uh, but first, let me catch you up on one thing I did do. I've had enough fun in this game that I actually decided to support the developer and spent $2 on this game, okay? Pig in a poke. I had no idea what that meant. I figured it was going to give me some random coins. It sounds like there's some, uh, some randomness to what you can get. And you get the message back. Oh, crap. Is it gone? Oh, these are new. Okay, so first of all, I don't know if you remember the video, but we did we did do the, the fish soup activity. This is what we got. 60 silver one time, 30 silver another time. I understand that activity more now. We should be able to do better than that now. Um, also, the other thing that I've learned is as we hit achievements, we will, uh, it'll, the game will be constantly give us stuff. So when you're getting close to an achievement, if you finish that achievement off, that's how you're going to make a lot of your currency and a lot of, you know, progression and stuff. Okay, here's what we got, though. When we purchased the pig in a poke for $2, again, it says, congratulations, a cat in the bag was a, a lot of jewelry. So I think there's randomness. Like, maybe we could have gotten baits. Maybe we could have gotten equipment, pearls, currency. Anyway, we got 155,000 silver and 195 gold. So is that a good deal based on the prices of what things cost? 195 gold is mostly, mostly what you're looking at. That would normally cost you $5 for 150 gold. So it ended up being a good deal. So if you want to occasionally support the dev developers, like maybe once a month, you throw them two bucks. You're at least getting a little something back. I don't think I would ever do any of this. But just for, like yesterday, there was something else on sale that looked kind of fun. So like I could see as long as I'm playing the game occasionally, throwing a buck or two to the devs anyway um okay so let me talk about what our goal tonight during this video is i have gone back so you remember tf1000 is the upgraded reel that we purchased halfway through the uh or towards the end of the um video last night and then we got some fishing in with it it's a stronger rod and reel but i'm going back to the basic one and i also renamed it because one of the things that i stumbled upon is that a good use for this first rod you get is to use it as a rod to be able to quickly fish for things and have a chance of catching bonus bait that quote unquote falls off the fish that you catch, okay? So first of all, let me back up. We're gonna get up to 25 points that we can level up this piece of equipment, which I've named it the TF500 Extra Bait, so I remember what it is. And by the way, the reason why you wanna use your starter rod for this is because it's free repairs, okay? So the idea is, yeah, you're not catching things that are very valuable, other than the fact you're gonna put, you're gonna max out points in the luck category, which is gonna give you the best chance of getting bonus from the fish. And then even after you've put 25 points into it, so we'll do like 10 here, 10 in the reel, and then five in the line, just because they kind of got to go somewhere. But the biggest thing is the 10 in luck, right? So that's the first 10 points we'll do. And then once you get it maxed out, there's even like a, 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 an additional thing you can get. You can get, turn it into like a legendary piece of equipment. And there's something that has to do with luck. One of the legendary things you can earn has to do with luck. So then that would even go better with this. Um, right now, if we go to information at the very bottom, the probability of getting a bait when we catch a fish is 1%. We want to get that up to 6% by maxing out luck. Okay. So then we'll have a better chance of, of slowly accumulating some of the nicer baits 
just by catching fish on this. So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully it'll become clearer even as we're doing it. Now, the key to doing this is to increase this number right here. This is speeding up how fast the rod is going to level. Now, we have 396 gold because of that poke in a poke, pig in a poke, but even without that, as you're getting achievements and doing different things, the game is throwing gold at you. So this is one of the, again, my understanding right now, obviously as I play the game more and learn more, this is you know subject to change. To me, this is one of the early ways to smartly spend gold is to level this up. So I, from what I understand, you at least want to go up to acceleration five. So that would be five, nine, 12, 14 gold, but the, but the, but two of that gold you spend in the tutorial, you don't have a choice to get through the tutorial. So really it's like 12 gold and it's not hard to earn 12 gold just by doing random things in the game, right? So you at least want that at five because this is going to increase how quickly we level it. Well, I'm not going to stop there. We got that pig in a poke. We got lucky. We got the gold on the pig in the poke. I'm going to go ahead and go up to 10 and then we're going to watch and see if that does seem like it's helping how quickly we're building up points. So now we just need to fish with it. Okay. First thing I want to do, uh, I do have this, the daily quest I took today is the white bream quest. Okay. So we need to catch three kilos of white bream. Now I'm not going to start with that. I do think that's like something that'd be fun to do. And it might be something we could do. Three kilos isn't as much as the perch one was, which was 25 kilos, which I assume that that is a lot more manageable once you unlock using lures. And then probably at a place like this, mostly what you're catching is perch. Again, I'm just reading into it guessing, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, but what I want to do first, because all we need to do to level up our rod is catch fish. So what can we do useful while we do that? We're going to do fish soup. Okay. I think when I hit start, it's going to clear clear the fish soup. Okay, this is how this works. We want to catch as many different species of fish in a row as we can. Okay, the moment we catch the same fish twice in a row is the moment that we stop and, and then the fish soup cooks and two or three hours later we get it back and that's the reward we get based on how many fish were in our fish soup. So the way I think I'm going to approach this is we will look at the baits we have and then the distance, uh, you know, how far down we want to fish at. We're going to start at bottom and we're going to start at bread. We'll go bread, bloodworm, semolina, flavored bread. Okay, so we've got four. We'll do four at bottom. Then we'll go to middle and we'll do four again and then surface four again. Now, if we actually get 12 different fish, I'll be shocked, especially since it's nighttime right now. But that's the strategy. Let's see how it, how it works. Okay. Here we go. Um, by the way, there is a manual casting mode. I don't think I'm going to worry about it this time, though. I've heard that if you switch it to manual casting, it's actually better, especially once you get higher level and can you can aim and really, you know, hit little nick, uh, little nicks and cr crannies of where you want to fish at. All right, let's see what fish we get here first. And hopefully as we go, it'll become morning time in the game. And maybe that'll um, help us do a little better. All right, first fish is a gudgeon. Okay, that's a little scary because I feel like we could see a lot of gudgeon right now. Um, all right, but now we change bait. We, as different a bait as possible, right? Now we're going to bloodworm. I am going to keep it on bottom, but let's kind of aim in a little different spot. Let's cast out here. And let's just hope we don't want to don't get a gudgeon. I would love to for at least to see us be able to get three or four different fish here for our fish soup and see how much better a fish soup we can make. See what bonuses we get, which unfortunately we won't see that till the next video potentially. Um, but still, oh, this, this has got to be something different. Okay. That's a fish I've never caught before. You hear the, the sound the Caspian sand goby. Okay, very cool. So that counts as two different fish in our fish soup. Uh, hopefully you can see the, uh, the number up there is two now. And it lists both of those fish in the fish soup. Okay. Okay. So now we want to switch to Semolina. And uh, it's nighttime. We've caught two goby in a row. 
I think this would probably be a better activity for daytime, but we're just going to do the best we can here. I'm a little worried that semolina with small hooks could get um, one of the fish we've already caught, but perhaps not. I think if we, you know, if we keep switching locations and baits, there's at least a reasonable chance we won't double up. Uh oh, gudgeon! Didn't we already have a gudgeon? That's it, right? Yep, that's it. All right, so that's how it works. We hit gudgeon twice, now it's cooking. We'll know in three hours what we're gonna get. I assume that's gonna be like the lowest bonus possible. Oh, it already tells you. We're gonna get 30 silver, right? No pearls, just 30 silver. So it is what it is. Okay, that activity is done. Now, let's see if we have made any progress. Okay, I think this bar is what we're looking at. And we may even up this to 15 eventually and really just go ham on this thing since we got that lucky pig in a poke. Let's do that. No, I want to see how fast it goes with 10 just for a little bit. All right. So let's now decide if we use semolina and we go middle right now, do we have a chance of getting white bream? No. Okay. What if we switch it to bread? We just want to find the white bream and, it, and it's nighttime. Maybe the white bream aren't here. All right, so neither of those. What about bloodworm? No. Uh, what about flavored bread? I hope not. No. Okay. So let's go to surface. Back to semolina. Expert. Schneider. Again, this might be a nighttime issue. Bottom. I don't see white bream at all. Uh, let's just make sure bread doesn't do it. It's in alphabetical order, so no. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I've caught white bream here before, but let's see if we can uh, if we can actually confirm that one way or another. Where's the largest white bream, and where did we catch it? White bream. Semolina Volga Pier. And it was in the evening, but not overnight. So that's the problem, I'm guessing. Semolina. So, yeah, let's just make sure that that's the case. Um, so we caught it on Semolina. Let's just check expert one more time. I think it must be time of day. Now we can double check hook size, but I don't think that's gonna matter. We'll go medium hook size semolina. All right, I think it's gonna be a time of day thing. Schneider only. I caught a Schneider yesterday, by the way, and it was, um, and it was a very, um, all right, we, so there's a lot of stuff we can catch on bread right here. Let's just do that. It was a very small fish that wasn't worth much. So not something in the last video I mentioned, maybe that's something we could like exploit, like just catching Schneider on semolina at night, but it didn't seem like that that would be a worthwhile thing. Okay, so right now all we're gonna do is just try to catch some fish. We'll check again once it gets to be like 5 a.m., see if white bream has shown up as a possibility and see which depths it looks more likely to get it. A lot of gudgeon at night right now. Uh, if we get another one, I might even move it to medium size hooks just to try to catch things that are gonna, gonna give us a little bit more XP. Okay, this is probably not a gudgeon. Oh, it is, it's just the largest one we've ever caught, interesting. Carp angler. We just got a uh, achievement. We should probably check that to see if it came with any bonuses. All right. 
Yeah, I'm getting sick of these gudgeon. So one thing that's interesting is the pearls. So we have eight pearls. Let's see if this costs one or more uh, for daily visit to the game for completing the quest fish shoot one pearl every 10 fish you also buy on the game market. Okay. All right, so let's see how much this cost. Eight pearls is how many should we have right now. Oh, that didn't cost anything? Oh yeah, it did, it cost one, seven. Okay, we have seven left. Okay, cool. So let's go to our uh, inventory now and see if we can see exactly what we just got. Um, we got, why is it saying that's bread? Is like just additional bread? Maybe so. Potato. Huh. And then the other thing we got was money, I guess. Okay. So I don't know if that's worth doing every day. Maybe it is because you got a chance of getting something really nice. Um, unfortunately, right now, there aren't any baits that we can purchase for, uh, for pearls in the shop. Because I think the other uh, purpose eventually for pearls is going to be um, is going to be using it to buy baits. I think. All right, so now we need to just figure out, is it worth even trying to get this fish in? Remember, this is on a small hook. I don't think it is. I think we just have to let this go. It's, well, we didn't, we didn't really have an option in it. Um, all right, it's 4.59. It's 5 o'clock. Let's catch one more fish, and then let's check the expert. Let's see if anything changed at, at uh, 5 a.m. I didn't really want to waste a ton of energy on that. That's the same fish like twice in a row, isn't it? All right, we can check expert now. So at this depth, at this time of day, white bream are here. Okay, uh, semolina. Let's see if that's a few less fish maybe. It might be a few less and it's certainly um, still a lot though. Can we catch them at this depth? White bream, yes. And what about at this depth, Mr. Expert? Yes, okay. And this has got the fewest, I think. Yeah, but it's close. All right, so let's go surface fishing with Semolina, see if we can get some lucky white bream, okay? And see if we can get them with any regularity. And then we'll check our rod, see how much our rod has progressed. An Eastern mosquito fish. First time we've ever seen that. We can replenish some of our energy maybe here. Um, on these fish that are just worth one silver, since we used a little bit of energy last fish, or the, what they're doing, that big fish. Maybe we can just use this as a way to replenish our energy slowly. We do have two bottles of energy, but I've heard you really don't want to... Um, you don't want to use up your energy bottles at this level. Like when you're talking about this size fish, you kind of want to save it for when you get a little farther and you're talking about like really big, nice fish and your equipment's bigger too. Cause the difference in us getting a fish in that we can't catch right now is probably going to be, so it's the largest European smelt we've ever had. Uh, we'll try this one more time and then I might try me medium uh, depth. Because while it might be possible to get white bream on top on surface, it may be that they just are not very frequent that you get them. Mm. 
largest bleak ever. All right. So let's do two things. Let's see how much we're progressing here. All right, you see that step? So it went a pretty nice step there. All right, we're going to accelerate this thing. I don't think there's any, I, I think 15 is the max I'm going to go to level this, to level this, but I think I will go up to 15. Uh, and then let's go medium, middle distance, and let's see if we see, um, see if we see white bream with any more regularity. I was hoping white bream might be something we could kind of target, but so far we're not hitting them. I don't know if it likes it when you cast it that close to you. That was an accidental cast, but I thought, hey, let's just see if it happens. But uh, it feels like, feels like we should have had a bite by now, right? So let's cast a little farther out. Eastern smelt. Again, we're just slowly building our energy back up instead of taking like one silver coin at a time. One silver, not very impactful, even at low levels. Uh, energy, building that back up some, probably worth it. Just so that we don't feel tempted to ever have to use a bottle of energy anytime soon. Yeah, we're just getting a lot of smelt. All right. So let's try one more change here. We'll go to bottom. Maybe the smelt and stuff aren't on the bottom as much. I don't know. Again, it, it, you know, it also could be the size hook we're using. So we can try medium hook with Semolina. See if that still targets white bream. That was quick. Um, okay. Just as we're talking about going up to medium hook, we get like busted with our small hook. Don't really want to see that, do you? Another gudgeon. Cool looking fish, but not a white bream. We're at the deepest, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to go me medium hook, semolina. Can we still catch white bream? Yep. Um, white bream. And white bream. So same thing. We'll start at the top. We'll start at the top here. And... Um, Unfortunately, with the medium size hook, we probably won't catch those, those like little tiny fish as often, but I also think we'll catch more fish that we just won't be able to get in. And we'll have to kind of make decisions on like, okay, are we going to take a chance and try to get it in with in losing energy or do we just let it go? All right, a Balika. At least it was worth more than one silver. Um... And I also want to check to see how the rod's doing. Now that we're leveling it a little faster. Ooh, I like the size of this fish. This could be a white bream. Freshwater bream. Okay. 
Uh, do we take three energy? I think so. I think that's pretty valuable. We just want to kind of keep pushing back up towards a thousand energy. All right. Yeah. Big jump there. Big jump. So this is what we need to do. We need to level this sucker up. At level 10, we'll have um, luck maxed out. And hopefully start getting the random like premium or, or really nice baits to drop off. Hey, there's that Schneider we were talking about. Ooh, and we hit level three. So that gives us 15, maybe some kind of oat is probably a new bait that we can get now at level three, another gold and 750 coins. And that was a, a nice little Schneider. Um, okay, so the first thing I wanna do is see that, that jump up and then I want to go to the, um, the bait store. Yeah, what is this? Pearl barley. Worse than on bread, but chance to catch a trophy is higher. So it's less bite rate than bread, but better trophy chance. And that's the only new bait. Oh, nope, this is new too. Synthetic bloodworm. Oh, that's cool, but it costs gold. I don't really want to get into buying gold baits. I want to use the gold for things more like substantial, like what we're doing to level up the rod. Um, so let's check the expert. If we switch to pearl barley, how's it looking on white bream? Looks good. What about small hook pearl barley surface? White bream possible, but so are things like Sichel, Schneider, Roach, Rudd. Let's see if those are if those same options are, are possible at medium hook. Bleak is still possible, Rudd, Schneider. It takes off the roach though, or at least the common roach. Caspian's still on there. This looks fairly safe to me. Not that there isn't anything that could snap us off, but not not like an un unreasonable amount. I think it's okay. I think I might like pearl barley, but let's see what it actually does in practice. Uh, yeah, spoke too soon. Uh, I think we can get this fish in, maybe? We kind of have to make a choice because we're using energy slowly but surely. So we need to sort of see like, how likely does it seem? So for now, I'd say it seems pretty likely, but if it starts running on us, I'll just let it go. Nice, good size sigil. So we can get 10 of that, 10 of that energy back or 14 silver. I think I'll take 14 silver. We catch so many fish that just give us like one or two energy. I'd probably rather get, build energy back up on those type fish. Okay, so first fish on uh, pearl barley is pretty interesting. Let's see what second fish is. Freshwater bream, so uh, right family, just not the, not the white bream. We have yet to catch a white bream. I wonder, maybe I should look at the daily quest again to see if there was one that might be easier than this. I'm starting to feel like we're not gonna be able to get that done. Yeah, the downside of pearl barley, of course, is how much longer do you have to wait for a, ba a bite, a uh, bite to happen. Oh, you hate to see bleak. Boop. Oh, nice bit of XP for the rod. I like that though. Um, okay, so let's go look at the map real quick. The other thing that I think would make sense to be working on uh, as best we can is this. Oh, we need nine more bleak, two more racer gobies and a moor um, bitterling. This is stuff that we're that's happening while we're fishing, so that's good. So this this eventually would happen. Uh, we may end up having to focus something, but for now, let's just keep doing what we're doing because we're so that will unlock a new place to fish at this same map once we get all of those done. I think this is one we can easily get in without using energy. Yeah. 
I don't even know why that was pulling. It's a good size bleak. Um, so let's look at the quest again. Is there one that would just be easier? Oh, gudgeon. Why don't we do the gudgeon quest and then just embrace the gudgeon? I wish I had thought. I wish I had done that at night. As soon as we switch this, we'll start getting. Let's first look at what the expert says on gudgeon. Like if we just use bread at surface, is that one of the fish? So those gudgeons were coming in at night. Okay, here it is. We might get some gudgeon doing it that way. Looks like some of the other fish that we need to catch, it would be possible to do that too. I know as soon as I switch this, we'll start getting white bream. All right, so now we're doing gudgeon. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's fine. I mean, we're doing what we need to do, which is basically catch fish, uh, level up the rod. A round goby, largest one we've ever caught. That's cool. Um, so why don't we put on the bread that we, oh, I don't see the bread that we got. So it must just like throw it in with your full stack of bread, which bread is, you pretty much never run out of bread, right? So, which is nice, especially for doing like what we're doing right now. Just trying to randomly get baits to fall off of this rod after we've leveled it up. Probably end up using a lot of bread and stuff like that for this purpose. Take the energy for sure on that one. And bread is just a, seems like it's just a nice bite rate, right? Another racer goby. Some cool looking fish in this. I think, isn't that one of the ones we needed for um, unlocking the new area, the new map possibly? Oops. Hopefully that's not annoying, but when I watched, looked at the video, it seemed like there are a lot of gobies here, by the way. When I looked at the video, it seemed like maybe you weren't hearing the game sounds very much at all in the last video. So I just want to make sure you're hearing the fishing sounds, if nothing else. All right, after this next fish, let's check our rod level. Oh, I never did look at the mail either. Okay, we got three pearls for carp angler. Cool. So when we hit that last achievement, we got three pearls for that. And we don't need to use energy. We just need to like, in that situation, we didn't, I didn't hit spacebar for energy at all. All I did was, um, let me see if I'm right about, all I did was let go of the left mouse. Let me see if I'm right about that. Was it, uh, was it racer gobies? Yeah, we're good on racer gobies. We actually, we need um, basically Amur, Bitterlings, and Bleak. Let's see if either one of those are, according to the fish expert, even possible with this situation. Neither one of them are. So I wonder if that's more of a blood worm. Nope. Um... Oh, we're not using the right hook, first of all. Let's go back to bread with the small hook. No. Okay, what about surface? Bleak in, is normally on the surface. Bleak, but still no Amur Bitterling. Uh, is that a bait issue? I think I've seen those before, haven't we? Haven't we? Yep, there it is, and Bleak as well. 
So as long as we use semolina, what about pearl barley? Bleak, but not a moor. So we want to use semolina. All right, let's see if we can't unlock this new place to fish. This new location. I mean, that could be huge. So we're almost back up to 970 energy. Oh, that's my first ever wide eye bream. And now we are back up to 970. Lots of different smelts. Haven't checked our rod in a while. We should do that. That's one of the fish, isn't it? The Amur bitterling. Wait, okay, so we're, we have one improvement point now. So we actually, perfect timing, we had just leveled it up. Um, so we can now put a point into luck. So let's see if this actually changes it. Right now, probability of getting a bait's 1%. Like theoretically, this could move, it may still be 1%, but it, it should be getting close to 2%. All right, that was our only point we had. Let's see if it moved it. Yep, 2%. And it also the, increased the fish price. That's kind of nice. All right, cool. Let's see if we can get another one of those more bitterlings, if we even needed another one. I don't remember how many we had. Yeah, we need four more. And then a bunch of bleak. But once we get these bitterlings, there may be a, a like more reliable way of getting bleak. I don't I don't know. We've got 973 energy now. So two out of every hundred we catch. That's the largest and more bitterling we've ever had. So we just need three more now. Two out of every hundred fish we catch should drop some kind of bait off of it. We want to get that up to 6% and then higher than that one day with the legendary thing as well. 6% still not a great percentage, but if you know, you've got a reason to fish for like small fish or whatever, and you're going to be using this rod anyway, it'll add up. Those extra baits will add up. It's one less thing you have to purchase with the currency. That's the theory, at least. And since we don't have the equipment to actually go for larger fish yet anyway, I figured let's just from the start here. There's another one. I think we just need two more of these guys. Just from the start here, let's work on, um, on getting our bait rod set up. I think we can get this one in. Uh, we'll have to use a little bit of energy. 
hopefully not too much. Yeah, not bad. All right, Sitcha, we can get like actually go into positive on energy, but I think I'll take the coins. It's a lot of coins for one little fish like that, so let's do that. We only went down two energy to get that fish in. We do need to buy some more semolina though. Looks a little big to be a bitterling. Oh, it is. It's just a big one for us, at least. All right. Get that energy back. I just, I think we just need one more, and then it's just figure out how can we... Oh, we've got an achievement, too. So we need to check our achievement mail to see what we get for that achievement. Could be our last one. Nope. Another wide eye bream. Okay, we need the bleak too, right? That's all. We also need those. All right, so we need to get some more semolina. So shop, baits, semolina costs 50. Let's just go ahead and get five of those for 250 coins. Not bad. And we'll get uh, three of these for 150 coins. And let's get two of these. Stuff we know we're going to be using. Uh, let's check our rod. You can't check the rod while it's in the water. Oh, yeah. Good progress. Good progress. Very nice. Working our way to level two on the rod. And I'll try to remember next time we cast out. I've waited too long this time. But next time, next time we cast out, let's look at the map. Get an updated view on our Amur Bitterlings and Bleak. We might have fished this spot out. Might need to try a different little spot around here. Nice. That has got to be all we needed on that. All right. So let's look at uh, let's look at bleak. So bleak is possible, but there's a lot of things that are possible with that. What if we go pearl barley? Bleak, little smaller group. I feel like we might get better bleak like that very small group with the uh, flavored bread kind of feels like a, a silly thing to waste flavored bread on but we could try bleak on blood worms that might be the thing to try yeah that's a big list let's try with blood worms at the surface and um, we've caught some over in this area so we'll try it here two things let's see what we got for that achievement we got two energy bars, I mean bottles, so we're up to four now. That's awesome. And then also catch the fish, and then we'll look at the map. All right, Bellica. We'll just kind of go out here for a bit. So now we want to pull out the map and see how we're doing on our requirements. Yep, bleak and then finish off the bream. I love it. So we've got to get a reliable way to start getting these bleak in. I mean, that's basically a bleak, isn't it? We're in the right family.
We're getting a lot of Bellicas. Are those giving us any XP? Yeah, not a lot though. And this is on Bloodworm. Maybe we should try bread. Maybe we should try that flavored bread. I mean, the flavored bread had a very small list. I just hate to catch something like bleak on flavored bread. All right, I'm gonna see if we can, I mean, we could quickly get this fish in without energy. Eh, I guess we'll just use a little bit of energy and just get it in. It's fine. Ooh, a chub. It's not worth that much silver, so let's get that silver right. I mean, let's get that energy right back. In fact, that was a net gain. We only used one energy, I think. From what we've learned from RF4, eventually if we unlock maggots, perhaps bleak becomes a lot easier on maggots. You know? You also would think the pearl barley though, wouldn't you? From what we've learned from RF4. We should throw out some pearl barley. Have I tried that on the smallest hooks? Semolina is what we were using to catch those Amur bitterlings. We should try pearl barley. That might do better than I think. It's a long bite. It's going to be another chub, isn't it? A smaller chub, maybe? Yep. Oh, man. Chubs are nice for gaining energy. Not worth a ton of silver, but that's some quick energy. All right, we're going to try Pearl Barley, Surface. Pretty sure Bleak was on there. Yep. And I think it might do better than I realize. I, I kind of forgot about how much Bleak like Pearl Barley. Let's see if this is a good, a good secret here. Good trick. Think we're going to work on an rf4 video after i'm finished with this one so haven't really decided what we're going to be fishing for yet or whatever but if you're seeing this video tonight hopefully a little later tonight we'll also have an rf4 one of course now we get the white bream i think whatever quest i have action active that's the fish i'm not going to catch that's what i'm learning here So maybe we need to remember this. If we catch two white bream in a row on pearl barley, I might switch back, see if that's like a real thing. Look at that, guys. Holy cow. And we haven't made any progress on the gudgeon. It doesn't, doesn't look like it penalizes us at all to switch to a different quest. We need three kilos. I mean, it's going to take a little while, but if they really do bite on the pearl barley this frequently, and if we occasionally get a bleak to pop onto there as well, then, then we're set. This is like the perfect thing for us to be fishing for right now. I think we did need more weight of freshwater bream to unlock that new place anyway, so that's not necessarily a bad thing there that we catch a bream. I think I'm right on that. I think that was the requirement I was the least worried about because I knew it would come eventually. Yeah, we're 2.7 out of Bream, but we still need six more Bleak. So this might be a way to get both. We will hopefully very seldomly get Bream, but just enough to finish off that requirements. If we don't, we'll just lower the depth we're fishing at. There's a Bleak. And what's our energy at? We're back up to 994 energy. I mean, we'll start taking coins again, I think. Maybe we'll max it out at 1,000, but... We've done really good, that balance of coins and, ooh, that's a bream, I'm guessing. Again, did not have to use energy, so we'll take the silver there. All right, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So we switched the quest. Since we've switched it, we've had zero white bream, just, just as a note. Just as a little note. Wow. We are a bream machine right now. All right, let's go over here. See if we can get some white bream action. Or even better, a bleak. Maybe we should throw bleak next to the shore. Maybe we throw next to the shore and we'll get bleak. What do you think? 
so this is this is the fun to me like it's cool seeing the systems of this game and i'm definitely enjoying it more now that i understand some of what's going on with these systems but what is fun and what has often been fun for me in in uh, rf4 as well is experimenting with different bait and spot combinations and trying to see patterns on trying to target different fish and this game gives you a lot of reasons to target specific fish so it's cool i, I, I like that part, part of it admittedly graphics are rough interface is minimal but there's some depth here there's some interesting uh systems going on what are we at on energy to 995? Okay, so we can do that a couple more times if we want to. If this doesn't do it, I'll even go closer to the shore. <laughs> Almost missed it. Another freshwater bream. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but in this episode, I have been jerking. The, oh, look how close we are to leveling up again. I have been jerking the rod to the left or right as we're hooking the fish. And the reason for that is this right here. Jerk. I'm not 100% sure on what it does, but each, P, each rod, each set has a jerk rating. Uh, and it either helps like tire the fish out, bring the fish in towards you. It does something. Why is this X'd out? Because the because it's in the water and I can't click on it, or is it because I'm in the weeds or something? We'll give it a minute. See if it. Uh... So it costs 10 silver to start a tournament here. Still a lot of stuff I don't understand. All right, I think it was X'd out because we were well, I'm not sure. Let's try a safe toss well, or safer toss. Let's see if it's X'd out again. Nope. Yep. Huh. Okay. I, I guess I just need to find out, like, does it do that on every cast? And I just haven't noticed it. No, so that had to do with the location of our cast. Woo, goodness. I'm glad we went ahead and figured that out. Okay, I, I don't know. We need to change spots again. We have not seen a bleak or a white bream over here. We're over halfway to the next level too, by the way. Working on these other goals takes my mind off how quickly or not quickly we're leveling and I don't really worry about it. All right, there's another bream. All right, let's try the other side of the dock. This is where we had caught those Amur bit bitterlings uh, and made progress on that. So let's see if using this bait over here is a good idea. Slow bite rate sometimes on the um, on the pearl barley. I think we need to check expert and make sure that the time hasn't put us out of range of what we're actually trying to catch right now. Because we're getting towards night again. But that's that's too long to wait in my opinion. That's not a good strategy for us. All right, what does expert say? Bleak still good. White bream still good. 
So for whatever reason, it looks like my um, close to the short, close to the side strategy has just not paid off. So we'll spread it out a little bit. See what see what we see. Very slow right now. Okay, largest size of whatever that is we've caught so far. Oh, I think we're, okay, we're at 998. So we can do up to two more energy and then we need to only hit coins at that point. Okay, one more. Mercif mercifully, we have not seen a lot of roach on this bait and surface combo. Wait, am I understanding this correctly that we can have more than one rod out in this game? Oh, it's a bleak. Okay, we should be back at a thousand energy. Yep, we are. We needed that bleak. To open up a new slot for the rod, you must do achievements or first level and above or spend 399 gold. So if I end up doing another pig and poke um, and or some other way we start to get gold, I would consider doing that. I, I assume, hey, it's another bleak. Yay. I assume it's probably not worth until you get into bottom fishing because of how, or maybe fishing for certain things the bite rate will slow down we need three more bleak and we're done folks and all of a sudden we're catching bleak here three more bleak and we can fish at a new area possibly next video i don't necessarily anticipate us doing it this video but we'll see freshwater bream so remember we can fish at multiple maps right now but only in the starter location of each map to unlock advanced spots for each map that have access to different types of fish. You have to do certain things, which is what we've pretty much been working on. Uh, mostly just as an excuse to catch as many fish as possible using this rod. Cause again, like I said in the beginning, Oh, there's a sigil. Like I said in the beginning, my main focus here is um, leveling up our very beginner starter rod because it's free repairs and it's a good rod to put lots of luck into uh, and a few other stats but first we're going to max out luck because we want to be able to catch as many uh, baits extra bait so when sometimes when you reel in a fish an extra bait will drop off of it for some reason and luck seems to be one of the most direct ways to increase that so even with that point, we are still at 2%, it looks like. Which fully maxed out, I think it will only be at uh, 3%. I mean, sorry, fully maxed out will be at 6% until we get that like legendary status on the rod, and then we can get it much higher. Yes. All right, let's keep it going. I think we just need one more. Am I right? Two more. Two more. Hopefully they bite at night. I don't know. We're getting awfully close to like, sort of like overnight time. I feel like that is just like, almost the exact same thing as a bleak. That's a big bleak if it's a bleak. Oh my goodness. Biggest bleak ever for us. All right, we just literally need one more and we have unlocked the new spot. 
which you would also think might be an achievement or something. I, I don't know, but maybe. So we might get some kind of bait or something for that as well. Oh, freshwater bream. Come on, Bleak. Two hours and nine minutes left on our fresh soup till we can do that again. And um, so if I do another video on this later tonight, then I will try to wait until <laughs> this can't be a bleak, can it? I will try to wait until all that is active again. Oh, it's a big Schneider. Holy cow. It's a pretty fish too. Uh, makes me a little nervous though. Does that mean that that's all we can catch here now? Nope. Bleak is still possible at this time. It appears. That was a nice Schneider though. Such a nice Schneider. It makes me want to check the rod to see how much, how much level it, the rod got from catching that. This is something pretty small, so this could be a bleak. Oh, Sitchell. All right, let's check really quick. Oh yeah, big, big chunk. Big chunk. So I'm gonna catch this last bleak. I'm gonna repeat myself one more time on exactly what we're doing with leveling up this rod. Um, and then we will, we'll put this on pause and pick this back up later on. If we can get this last bleak before the bleak time is over. It's a decent sized bleak if it's a bleak, but it could be a bleak. Schneider again. Oh, I got a bait. Shoot. I wish I would have looked at it longer. All right, let's look at our baits. We just got our first bait, and it was this. Bone, it's live bait. Nice. Uh, I'm going to guess we... I'm not even sure if we can use it on this. Maybe we have to use bottom fishing to use that. That is awesome. That's the whole... I'm so glad that happened during this episode. That's the whole reason why we are... Um, leveling this beginner rod up now my other question is is that the only bait that we'll be getting which maybe that's a great bait to have and it's worth it but i wonder if there are other baits that can fall off i mean that kind of makes sense this is tiny this like doesn't even register up there it barely registers schneider um we should check the expert again we're like 11:30 at night. I just I'm getting worried that we might not get our last bleak till next episode, but I'll be curious to see if that's the only bait that ever falls off. All right. So real quick, what we're doing is we are leveling up this bar. Every time we level it up, we get one skill point. We're putting 10 skill points into luck to increase the chance of gets, getting bonus bait from the fish. Okay, That's the whole reason why we're leveling this bad boy up. Free repairs. It's just the, it's the perfect rod to do this on. We're going to check expert, see if bleak are even possible. Nope, we're past the point of bleak being possible. So that means we're going to be done with this episode. Um, and so that's what we're doing. We're leveling up this rod catching all these little small fish which is mostly the size of fish we can handle right now anyway so we might as well do it we are very close one little fish away from being able to unlock this fishing hole which we can supposedly catch eel crucian tench pike crayfish and other things at this abandoned pond so that will be the next place we can go to in volga now, when we go to that place, we'll probably switch back over to our stronger rod and reel, right? Um, which we might pump some gold coins into this to level this a little faster, maybe at least up to five. 
just because, you know, and, and we're not going to focus on luck on this one. We're going to focus on other things just to make it better. Um, but we're not going to worry about that yet. Uh, so that's what we'll try next time. Anything else? Oh, yeah. The last thing I wanted to look at was the shop. Have we unlocked any new fishing rods at this level? Yes. So we already have this one. We can get this one now. So maybe we jump straight to that one. We're also about to hit another level. Uh, if, are we about to hit level five? Or are we about to hit level four? I think we're currently level three. So maybe we see how fast this next level goes. We might skip over the 3,000 or we might get that one. Level 5,000 is level, you know, you're available at level, at, um, when you hit level five, 7,000 coins is nothing. So that makes sense. Uh, we need to be level seven to try spin fishing. We need to be level 12 to try float. And we need to be level 10 to try sea fishing. I think that's what this is for, but I'm not 100% sure. It might just be bait casting, I guess. I really want to be able to try bottom fishing. Chance to get the bait 2%, by the way. 3% on this one. They all have bonuses. This one's fish price plus 50%. That's kind of cool. Chance to get the bait 6%. So we're probably not using a rod that gives us a huge chance to get the bait. But it doesn't say those bonuses anywhere. At least not. Yeah, probability of getting a bait on this one is 3%. Already higher than what we have this one built up. However... Again, there's a reason why we're using this one. It's free repairs. Uh, it's just a good way to like catch small fish and be getting extra baits while you're doing it. So I think that in the long run will make sense. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I don't think we actually spend coins on that second rod that we already have since we can already afford the level three rod and we're not that far from hitting four and then theoretically five where we could just skip to level five float rod. Uh, and then we have to start thinking about, are we catch, are we fishing for things that take longer to catch? And, you know, do we start trying to save up gold or maybe do another pick in a pig in a poke at some point and try to get some gold to do, uh, to do a second rod. The other thing we could do is just wait till we get all of the achievements, but that looks like a long road. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. I know this has been another long video about this silly game. I'm actually having a really good time. Uh, it's so fun to be able to understand the systems better. I think in the next episode, we really will just be focused on unlocking that second place where we can fish and continuing to level up our starter rod so that we can ca catch as many extra baits as possible when we're using this rod. All right, I will see you next time. Peace out.